Hey Kyle, this is Viola with Gwinnett SEO. Thank you so much for taking the time to speak with me yesterday and thanks for clicking on this video. Now I'm gonna briefly show you three easy ways that you can improve your website so that you can start bringing in more customers. Um, and if you're wondering why I'm making this video for you, it's pretty simple uh, because there are a lot of business owners out there who just don't have the time to make the internet work for them and it holds them back from hiring an agency, especially considering they don't know who is an expert and who's not. So I found that by making these easy attack plans and giving them away for free. Some business owners are able to do this themselves and some call me back and ask for some help. So if you want some help at the end of this, then feel free to give me a call and we can chat. But if you want to do this yourself, please do. I'm just trying to help as many business owners as I possibly can. Now I'm going to talk to you today about contents, backlinks, and citations. So first off, you guys have a pretty good looking site. I love how bright it is, the color scheme, the photos are really nice. Um, but do keep in mind that Google doesn't care how good looking your site is, though. They rank you based on content. So when somebody goes to Google and they type in Roofing Atlanta, uh, Google's job is to put them in front of the article that has the most words on it. And typically any article on this home page has at least 1,500 to 2,000 words. So you want to make sure that your home page of your content has at least 1,500 to 2,000. Looks like you guys are sitting at roughly about six, 700, somewhere around there. Um, so you definitely want to increase that. Now, I went ahead and pulled up one of those uh, one of those websites that's on this homepage of Google here, Atlanta Roofing, oh no, Colony Roofers. And just so you can take a look at their homepage, as you can see, it's not as attractive as yours. I mean, it's pretty basic, but they have quite a bit of content, still not as much content as you guys. Um, I'm sorry, still not as much content as Google requires, which is 1,500 to 2,000, which just tells us that they're definitely beatable. So you definitely want to increase the content on there. And another thing, too, in regards to content, even though Google doesn't care how pretty your photos are, you always want to make sure you save these as a keyword because they do read the photos. They just don't really look at the photos. And when I say a keyword, I'm going to jump into this tool that I use here called Arifs. And I went ahead and put your company in here. And this just allows me to see the back end of a website. So when I look at the keywords, right now you guys are using 172 different keywords. Um, let's take a look at what's working and what's not. So for example, if you wanted to, you could save it as roof repair, roof leak repair Atlanta, etc. You know, or let's see, since it's fixing a shingle, maybe we can use a, a um Maybe we can use a keyword that has something to do with shingles. Here, asphalt shingle roof repairs. And you could just save it as that. Now, I want to look at the competitor in this same tool. And the next thing that I want to talk to you guys about, actually, I'm going to jump back over to Google because I want to talk to you about this section right here. And this is called the map pack or a citation. And all this is, is a citation is simply your business name, address, and phone number listed throughout different directories across the World Wide Web. And all that is, is, for example, Yellow Pages, White Pages, Angie's List, Facebook, Yex, Yelp, you name it. There are tons of them. The strategy here will be, for example, if you look at, at Atlanta Roofing, dot com um you would see you find out exactly how many citations they have in their site or they have on google and let's say if they have 10 you want to get yourself in 10 and then add like another 20 30 40 on top of that that way you know that you're beating them out every single month and th that way you guys will be in this area um when somebody does when somebody does look for roofing in atlanta georgia okay um because let's just be honest anytime somebody's looking for anything on google nobody goes past this first page okay now the last thing i want to talk to you about is this section down here and this is basically the organic section and it has everything to do with backlinks so what a backlink simply is is website a it has a link on it and that link takes you to website b and in turn, what that does is it drives traffic and it drives value to that site. So again, we're in the colony roofers in my tool here. And just to break this down, this is saying that this company has 330 different websites linking back to them 937 times. Let's take a look and see exactly what's working and what's not. 
And before I do that, I do want to let you guys know something very important. Not every backlink is created equal. So for example, if you had like a pizza company that gave you a backlink, Google knows you guys don't sell pizza for a living. So that's not going to be as powerful as like the gutter guards backlink or something along those lines. So the strategy here will be to go in and see exactly which backlinks are working for them. I will put myself in those same exact backlinks and then I would ensure that I get my 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 website on those same on these websites that are working for them. Because if you think about it, if it's working for them and you're beating them in backlinks and you're beating them with citations and you're beating them with um, content, you're gonna start taking some of this 2,000 a month organic traffic as well. And just to dive in one more thing in regards to keywords, this is like a little bonus here. I'm gonna look at their keywords because you could probably save some of those as those photos on your site. And as we dive into these keywords, I just want you to see exactly how this works. So for example, Roof Repairs Atlanta, Georgia. This is saying that 300 people per month search for this on Google. They get 63 from that 300 and they're currently in the number one spot. All right, you see how that works? Let's go down and look at one more uh, Roof Repairs Atlanta. So this looks like the same thing, but they're not. Um, oh, I'm sorry. These are the same thing. You see, they have it on there a few times. Roofing con contractors Alpharetta. So 250 different people look for that per month. They get 53 out of the 250 and they're in the number one spot. So what this tells us is that even number two, number three is being divided from this 250. So there's still a good portion of it for anyone. And then eventually you'll get the number one spot. So you see how this kind of works. I won't bore you with all the uh, information on that. But that's pretty much all I have for you, Kyle. Thank you so much for taking the time out to watch this video. Let me know if this was at all helpful um, in the email or you can shoot me a text or a phone call. Other than that, I hope you guys have a great day and I look forward to speaking with you soon. Take care.